please welcome to the stage Fred Barber. Come on! Uh, hello. hello. Uh, my name's Fred and I'm special. Uh, not in an X Factor way, more in a sorry, this school just doesn't have the resources. Uh, I've got a condition called dyspraxia, which basically really affects my coordination, so people just assume I'm off my tits the whole time. Uh, which is kind of unhelpful, because I'm actually a recovering alcoholic and cocaine fiend. Uh, there's some stuff I miss about it, um, some stuff I don't like. I don't miss feeling like cash points are taking the piss out of me. Because, you know, I'd be going up to the cash point and it would be like, do you require an advice slip? <laughs> do you really think I'd be pulling 80 quid out of my overdraft at 4am on a Tuesday morning if I was even remotely receptive to advice? <laughs> and beyond that, who do they think they are offering it, you know? Because, like, these days when I say I've given up, people are like, oh, how do you do it? Do you find God's? Do your parents stage an intervention? Do you go rehab? She's so like, no, nah, I was just at the cash point one night. <laughs> Nat West just gave me this heartfelt receipt. <laughs> and if there's anything I know about bank... <laughs> Moving on. Um, you know, so it's quite fun being a recovering fuckhead, though, you know. Um, People are proud of you just for not doing something they got no problems not doing themselves. You know, uh, the rest of society's reprobates. They don't get the same respect, you know. It's never like, Barry, it's been three months now and not once have you opened your raincoat in Tesco. <laughs> just going to say it, you're an inspiration, man. <laughs> you probably, probably tour schools or something. Um, also, I quite like being a recovering fuckhead as well, because um, I'm not a particularly macho person, you know, like, uh, at all. And now the consequences of drinking is one thing you can't out-macho me on. Because, you know, blokes will be like, oh, yeah, had five pints last night, lost my phone, wee! And you get the next group, yeah, had 17 Jaeger bombs, chundered in an Uber, wee! <laughs> And I'd be like, yeah, well, I got blackout drunk every night for five years, got beaten up multiple times, left a trail of unpayable credit card debts, and my girlfriend left me. Legend! <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, it's funny for me, too. Um, actually, though, like, seriously, how you give it up? Like, what it requires is a bit of humility, a bit of self-discipline, and a lot of replacing it with weed. Um, you know glory holes? Um, I, I reckon glory holes should have a different name. I think they've got no right to call themselves glory holes. Like, what did you do last night? Oh, well, to be honest, recently I've been feeling a bit lost about who I am and my place in the world. So last night, in an act of desperate, drunken nihilism, I put my penis through a hole in the toilet cubicle in the vague hope someone would interrupt their poo and suck me off. <laughs> Honestly, it was glorious, you know, like, you know, when you just feel like you're winning. Um, London's getting more dangerous. Uh, there's a guy, there's a shop near me, like a jewellery shop, and it got raided. And when they confiscated the items, they found, like, three stolen mopeds, a battering ram, ten baseball bats, and one samurai sword. I just wonder what stage in the proceedings was that deemed to be an essential bit of inventory? Like, here's how it's going to go down, lads. You, you smash the shop, you tie up the staff, you open the safe, and then I go one-on-one -on -one with the feudal ninja warlord. <laughs> Essentially, what happened is a few people wanted to get rich through some violent scheme, and one dude just wanted to be an Assassin's Creed. <laughs> just go Comic Con, man. That's like ten years save of trouble. Uh... You know, I don't just do shit like this as well. I've actually got jokes as well. Like, um... <laughs> don't you think anyone who says gay people can't get into heaven is thinking of an entirely different nightclub? <laughs> uh, you, know, you know when you're illegally downloading movies? Make sure you read the whole headline. 
So I tried to download Men in Black 3 the other day. Ended up enjoying Men in Black Men. <laughs> Doubt I'll be babysitting again. Um, <laughs> anyway, thank you. Oh, it's a spread ball.